Oh, I don't have anything, Apple. Oh, I'm still cleaning, guys. I'm still cleaning. It's a false alarm. Oh, I'm still cleaning. I'm sorry. Hello, piggy people. So today is Thanksgiving here in Canada. And I am going to clean out the pigs. So it's morning, which usually I clean them out at night. But since I don't have to work today, I'm going to do it this morning because it doesn't feel like any point tidying them all up just to clean them out later. So I'm going to start with the herd's cage and we'll go from there. So I was hoping by today that I was going to be able to put Annalise and Annabelle back together, but last night when I was checking Annalise's incisions, I didn't feel like it looked like it was closed well enough for me to do introductions again. Just because she's going to have to be running around chasing her sister and, you know, being the boss of her again. So I don't want anything to be like ripping, tearing, moving, coming open. I'll check them again when I start her cage, but I don't think we will be able to do it. Hi cuties. Oops. Hey Velvy. Thank you. So otherwise, um, Annalise's spay and recovery has gone really well. It was stressful when I first got her home. Obviously, because you never know how things are going and you want to get them eating and feeling better so that, you know, everything's okay. And then I was stressed out when Annabelle was picking on Annalise and I had to decide to split those guys up. Because obviously nobody wants to have to do that. But I feel better now. Now the next thing is I just can't wait for them to get back together. It's been kind of annoying trying to clean both those sections of cages. I really like it better with the less cages. Hi sweeties. Okay. Gotta break up your party over here in the corner, guys. Gotta take all these beds. So everybody's been eating the new Sherwood pellets, the ones that are all just Timothy. And they love them much better than the alfalfa, because now they don't want the ones with alfalfa, which is pretty funny. So. If you guys haven't tried them and they're available to you, highly recommend trying them because the ingredients are so healthy compared to some pellets that are loaded with soybean, soybean hulls, soybean meal, soybean oil, wheat middlings, molasses, added calcium, all that stuff. So check them out. And they also have these really cool recovery food care kits that come with little packs of recovery care, a syringe, and little packs of the Appetite Restore, like the electrolytes, which is so cool to have it in like small packages so you can just open it up as you need it. You guys know the rules, go over here. Hi. I gotta take this with me, guys. Okay, we'll start over here. Why are you guys going over there? Trying to climb Mount Everest? What goofy little piggies. Melvi, you gotta come back over. You're gonna get stuck on that island. Not sure what Apple's doing. Are you rumbling, Hucky? Okay, little ladies. 
You gotta go back over. Hey, Velvy. Hello. Hi, my big baby. And you're so beautiful. What are you doing over here? Come on. Come on. We'll put you over here. Good girl. Oops. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to drop stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I know you hate the loud sounds. I know. Well, everybody's scared because a plastic lid fell. Okay, you're up first, sweetie. Oh, we're screaming today. We're screaming. Why? Why are we screaming? Same thing happens every single day. Why were we screaming? You're so dramatic. I love it. So we put this little cloth with a little bit of coconut oil. I know you never like this. That's one. And then I wipe off the excess. And then to get in any little crevices, we have a wet Q-tip. There. And that's literally it. You're good. Yes, you're good. Okay. Up we go. You're fine. You're good. You're good. Okay. You're next, Velvie. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oops, we got hay stuck. Okay, baby. Okay. good today. So we're just using the Gorgeous Guineas F&M food ointment. This is what we do every cage cleaning night, so that's twice a week. Um, I've said it before, but in case anybody's new, when we adopted Velvy, she had very dry back feet. She lived in a smaller cage that just had shavings, and she really just stood around. Um, so it gave her quite callousy, dry, flaky feet. So the one foot still has quite a few calluses on the back heel. The other one looks basically normal. But just to keep it from getting any worse or back to flaky, that's what I like to do. Okay, sweetie. And it's also nice because I get to hold her and she gets to you know, get used to being picked up and pet. She does so much better than she used to. Hey, my beautiful baby. You're so beautiful. I love you. Don't you be squabbling. Okay, guys. They're all waiting to get back over. So we're doing this pretty hot pink or red or whatever color this is, flowers. And the bumblebees that match. Yes, pretty princess, you can come out first. Take two to the other side. Oh, perfect. Look how well trained my pigs are. Everybody moved over to the other side. What good little piggies. Hey tubbies, are you a good girl? Oh, there we are. 
Oops, I should have used that one for flowers. Oh well, we're gonna be uneven now. I forgot that I had one that didn't have flowers on the other side. I'll try not to let that bother me because part of me wants to take this one and put it over here to be flowers, but that's just silly. Nobody cares. Okay. Now we go back around again. So a lot of people ask um, how I prepare my liners and beds and stuff for the wash and like get all the hair off and everything basically impossible to get all the hair off so if you're worried about your washer buy um, the laundry bags and put all your stuff in the laundry bag I don't really see how a laundry bag would work for my washer it has the center agitator so I think it'd be really hard to place that stuff in the laundry bag and place it around the agitator properly I think that would work really well for your front load washers having just a big laundry bag thrown in but otherwise, I find all the hair is in the dryer lint trap, which is perfect. So it doesn't even come off all in the wash. It's still kind of stuck on some of the fleece after it is washed and then gets taken off when it's in the dryer. But I never find like that much hair on mine. So I don't know. But yeah, that's all I really have to say is like you can never get everything off. So kind of just the way it goes. Why hello! Apple's doing little teeth chatters at me. She forgets. We already tidied her bum. She absolutely gets so annoyed with me when I have to tidy her bum for two seconds. And she always assumes when it's cage cleaning and I've left the room and come back that I'm coming back to pick her up. She's a character. Okay, got lots of choices for this type of fleece, a lot. So what do we want to do? Maybe we'll get your hay station set up first so everybody can get eating some hay. So I like to put some hay here um, so that Annalise has other little piggy people to see. So this will be our two by two mat where I put Timothy Hay down just in a pile. And then this is our box that has orchard grass. So we can put that up against here. Yes, I brought another one. Oh, we got pretty lime. There you go. So I will grab their Timothy Hay so that everybody can get eating if they want. There we go. Here, everybody can have a snack now. And I can keep putting stuff together. here. We've got a nice cube. Here we are. My favorite kind of cubes I've just gotten recently. See there's some pig hair stuck from the dryer in the corner here are the cubes where I asked um, Cindy from Cindy's Cozy Co to make a hole on the front and one on the back and then the two sides are solid because sometimes I find this center wall here between the two holes kind of dips in where if it's one on the front one on the back it's so much structurally sound so that's how I'm going to be getting all my cubes from now on are she calls them a run-through cube with 
the opening on the front and the back to run right through and I like them. Hi sweetie. Put that nice big bed there. Nice sweetheart. Hey Racy. Oops. Bell, get back in there. <laughs> little Hucky did a little squeak. When he gets silly, he does lots of talking. So I'll put a nice pad under there because everybody likes to sleep under this little canopy. So then I can change out that pad if needed. This is our Sherwood um, Timothy pellets. And I just filled these up last night. And they're going to need to be filled up again tonight. So I just fill them up once every 24 hours. So whatever time today they get finished, I just leave it until the night to fill it up or else I'd be going through pellets like crazy, which these pellets are so concentrated with vitamin C and all that good stuff that you don't have to feed a ton. Like literally one pig could just have a tablespoon of pellets and get everything that they need from them. So that's good to know. So I only fill it up once every 24 hours. So whenever they finish them today, they have to wait till tonight to get some more. So it works out good. Cause you don't want to overdo it with pellets either. Cause you still want them to eat lots of their hay, but at least these pellets are healthy. So if they are eating quite a few, they're healthy pellets. Which you can't say that for every brand, unfortunately. So we'll put our cube in here. And I think I just need like one more cuddle cup. Hi, sweetie. Oh, are we stretching out? Yes, we are. Look at those little feet kicking out. You're so sweet. I love you. Just stand here forever and pet you. She would let you. That is one sweet pig. So Pecan goes for a health check, uh, her yearly health check in November. So since she's on medications daily, it's an, a requirement that she goes once a year minimum so that they can check her to make sure everything's good and whatnot for her medications. So she will be going and she's gonna be six when we're taking her because she's six really soon, a couple weeks, which is very exciting because six years old for a guinea pig is a very nice age for them to get to. So their lifespan's five to seven years. So a guinea pig at six is very nice. And even though I say that's nice, it's not long enough because I would love my pigs to be around forever. But she's still doing, knock on wood, so well. And she's so happy and cheery that I just love it. That's what you want to see for your senior pigs is just them being happy and comfortable. Here. Oh, I forgot one bed. I guess I'll put this somewhere. Where shall we put this? Let's leave her right here. So actually, I think I'm gonna do Annalise next so that she can come on out of bed and get eating some more hay. So she's doing well. She definitely is super quiet without her sister, which stinks, but I understand. So that was another reason I was really hoping today I could have put her back with her sister. So I'll get her out of bed here and I'll check her incision again. But I doubt we'll be able to. Mm -hmm. 
me as a little munchkin. Come on out. Oh, we've, we've learned quick what that trick is. Hi. Let's see your spot. Yeah, I don't think we're ready yet, unfortunately. It's close, but it's just, you can still see a little bit where it's healing. I just need to pick you up, okay? Come on. Carefully, right? There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna do, this is betadine, just a disinfectant. I'm just gonna do a little bit around where incision is. Just cause it looked like, I don't know if she nibbled a tiny spot or not. girl so I wouldn't recommend using anything else but this because if you're using like alcohol or any peroxides or anything like that that is insanely drying and alcohol would sting terrible so betadine is what I would recommend and it's not like I was told to have to do anything with her incision that was just a judgment call it just looked like a little piece of scab had come off so I could see a tiny bit of fresh blood, like just the color of blood. So I just wanted to make sure that we tidy it up. But her incision is almost closed, not quite. So maybe Friday when I clean cages again, I'll be able to put her with her sister. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep her here on the floor. Put your, she'll stay there since I have the logs there. This will just be easier without her right here in the cage. So all of this hay is super wet. Hi, sweetie. So she has tons of super healthy poops, which are so good to see. It only took her like 24 hours for her poops to be back to normal. We did lots of hand feeding and lots of probiotics. Because when she did poop for the first time, they were really ugly looking. Like just really weird shapes and sizes and all over the place, but that's normal for a pig out of surgery because they just came out of surgery their stomach's starting up again they've had lots of medications going through them so they gotta poop and pee and get rid of all those nasty medications Okay, so I'm gonna go wash my hands and she's gonna stay right there. I know she's not gonna move and if she did, she can't get hurt. And I'm back. So I literally was two seconds. And she's still in our little tunnel there. It's a nice, fresh, clean liner. Oh, 
What do we got here? Perfect. Here we go. Okay, Miss Annie. Boy, hello, gorgeous piggy. Here you are. So we'll get her some hay. I like the beds for her that are nice and super snuggly. So this one is from Valerie's Zoo. Or sorry, Valerie's Cozy Shop and Piggy Stop. I always forget she changed her name. And anybody wondering where we get our fleece and our supplies, it's all down below. Okay, so I'm not gonna put this in yet because I want her to be out and eating. So once I'm done cleaning everybody's cage, we'll put her bed back in. Sometimes you have to do some tough love with piggies to make sure that they're out and about. So these little munchkins will be next. I just love these corner houses that Cindy's Cozy Co made. They're so nice. Like super sturdy and the pigs absolutely love being in here. I might save this to use again because that does not feel wet at all. Like save it to use right again for these guys. Like you're not putting it back in the bins or anything gross like that. So for all my fleece beds and liners, I wash them all the same and you don't have to worry about them going weird or gross or anything like that if you're getting them from, you know, nice quality shops that are using foam for the beds. Because I have some cubes from probably five or six years ago that are still holding up just fine. It is easier for beds to actually just be dried, like air dried. Because I find that since you don't have U-Haul in there, the centers will dry out pretty easy. So you can skip the dryer for them. You could put them outside if you wanted and it's not gonna take them near as long. Cage liners, I have tried so many times to dry them outside versus using the dryer. It just doesn't work here. Here in Canada, when it's nice and sunny out, it usually means it's also humid. So basically the moisture just stayed where it was right in the center of the liners and you didn't get anywhere. If you have somewhere that's like really dry heat outside, I bet it would work great, but not in Canada. Okay, so these little turkeys are going back on the same print, which I don't think they'll say anything about. They're not too picky, are you, Autumn? My gorgeous little fluffy lady. There you go. You guys gonna go over? Go on over. Here you go. 
These two just make me smile. They are so nice together. The only time where things are the teensiest bit rowdy is if autumn is in heat and it's just because Angus does a little bit of chasing with her. But other than that, they're so cute and so they're adorable. And then it's always so nice knowing how happy Angus is. How he weighs more than he ever did with her because he's super happy and healthy and not stressed out like we were when we were with Bullseye, eh buddy? Do this for your bed. You coming on out? Oh, I need a little pad to cover that spot. There we go. So it's very rare that I use beds over again. That one just honestly didn't feel like any dampness at all. Most beds, like, pigs will be spraying pee and stuff like that. So even if you're changing the pads, there's still pee, like, sprayed up the sides and stuff. So usually I'm always cleaning them, every single cage clean. This was just a random exception because it really felt clean. Another quick way to see if um, a bed needed to be cleaned, even if this sounds gross, is just giving it a sniff. And if obviously you could smell the strong scent of urine, you should not be using it. You should be putting it in the wash because as I said before, that'd be really unhealthy. Here you guys go. Oh, Angus is happy. I'll get them a bit of hay. Oh, you're popping. Oh, he's so cute. Are we loving our clean cage? Oh man, these two are adorable. He's just going nuts. I wish you guys could see off in the corner. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Are we all crazy, Angus? Are we happy, buddy? <laughs> yes, we are very happy. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. You're so adorable. Nothing is cuter than pigs popcorning and the cute happy sounds they make while they're doing it. He's just like going nuts in that bed. Angus and he just jumped on top of there and now he's popcorning more <laughs> He's being nuts. I wish we could see you You're not supposed to be on top of there little buddy. What are you doing? You jumped on that bed right while Autumn was inside We're just so excited Okay, can I get you hay now? I didn't want to miss any of your craziness. Are you calm? Even though they have a hay box full, everybody still likes to have some hay piles too, so... I agree. That's nice. Okay. Make sure that's not squished. Nope. Okay, so now it's going to be Miss Annabelle. Can't really tell where she is. Oh, yeah, she's back in that far back bed there. 
We're almost finished, guys. It's 9.30. I th what time did I start? 8 or 8.30? I forget. I think 8.30. because it's veggies next normally I just spot clean and then it's veggies but as I said today is the full cage clean and they think they should be getting their veggies not yet I still got to finish this cage hi sweetie oh you're so warm in there hello oh you're like a little toaster oven So Annabelle has super dry ears. I have no idea why. So we're, we either do coconut oil or this F&M ointment and put it on her ears. Like right around the opening, the flaps. If we don't do it, it gets really dry looking. And she really likes when you're doing it. So it must feel nice because dry skin is itchy. Good girl. Do you miss your sister? I hope so. I hope you guys will be good once I put you back together. So this gorgeous guineas stuff is perfectly safe for them to have on their face. So this, like the F and M stands for foot and mouth. So it can be right on their mouth if they had mouth scabs which would be from chelitis which can be fungal or bacterial which you would need medications from your vet to be treating but that can be put on to help with the scabbing so anyway that's why this is safe to be putting on her ears here I love all gorgeous guineas products because you know that they're safe for guinea pigs because they're made specifically for guinea pigs. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? My little shiny hippo ears. Isn't that cute? You're so sweet. Both of these girls are just adorable. And I really hope once Annie's um, hormones are all gone, that these two will be calmer with each other. Okay, shall I put your cage together? her sister she will travel on the floor so I just gotta make sure she's not gonna leave here otherwise it's dripping I just, gotta, I just gotta put one side down okay and then I'll put you back in so you don't leave Trust 
me. There. She's oh, okay, that's not a good idea, Abby. She has such bug eyes, they really protrude out of her head. And she got a piece of hay on it. And you do not want hay going in their eye and causing some kind of injury or irritation. But we got it. We were successful, even though I was bugging you. guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!